I knew he was young and he was a stripper and he was in a sort of tough world that, if you will, the underbelly of society. So I always just thought he was trying to act tough. But, but yeah, he, he would joke about, he made really bad jokes about, say, drowning kittens or wanting to hurt people. I want to point out to my viewers that we, of course, can't confirm nor deny any of Nina's allegations or even whether you guys were involved. I have a suspicion that drugs may have played a, a significant role here. Do you share that thought with me? Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, I hadn't seen him in over a decade, but I suspect the person that I knew back then was not capable of doing these these heinous crimes. And, and Nina, uh, although I can't, again, I have to remind our viewers that I can't confirm or deny even that he uses drugs, but I, as a physician, agree with you completely that they're, they're just, it just smacks of that. It's, it's so over the top. It, it, it you know, yeah. it, it just, it's hard to, even a psychopathic killer, uh, which he had some of those qualities, mm. you know, as you say, he would uh, talk about damaging animals and he actually ended up did hurting animals. But that too may have come later in conjunction with the drugs. What, what made you come out now? Why our program? Why today? What, what motivated you to come out? I've already turned down over 200 in interview requests internationally. But I'd seen your show. I, I thought you had integrity and uh, I liked you. I liked the way you t spoke to people. Okay. Are we, and, are we okay uh, so far? I like that your show is... You, yeah, doing okay, okay. so okay, far. Okay, good. Yeah. Um, is yeah. there is there anything you want people to know about this? Is there anything we should take away from this this story? Well, I think it raises a lot of very disturbing questions that we don't address in society. That is that there is a so-called underbelly in society. There's people who have experienced great trauma. They often don't have the privilege of education or um, the, they don't have an ability to make the same amount of money and yet they are interacting with us all the time and some of them are ambitious some of them want to be seen to be heard and i certainly don't think that it's uh... although i i think lucas actions obviously are ex very extreme i don't think it's an extreme desire for people in our culture to want to be famous something that's particularly macabre to me about lucas situation is that he did these things to show them and it seems like the situation is really emblematic. It's a kind of serial killing or a kind of uh, sociopathy that's emblematic of our time. It's not just done, it's um, disseminated through social networking. It's blogged about by the, the very person who did it. He's able to create his own celebrity around it. He's right. able to right. frame, frame the conversation. And, and in a new way, I mean, in a way, serial killers always had a special, you know, romance where there would be stories written about them and whatnot. But now hundreds of thousands or perhaps millions of viewers actually consume his acts, what he did. I mean, I think you're right. really, I think you're really onto something. So was he always someone who talked a lot about fame? Uh, yeah, well, he said he would do anything to be famous. I didn't think that he meant killing someone. I thought he meant doing, being a porn star and, um, you know, exploiting his, his sex life. And did those... And I think he did that for a long time, and then I think he, 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 he needed to do something new. I um, watched the video because before I did this interview, a friend of mine said you should watch the video just to understand the gravitas of the situation and I, I couldn't watch the whole thing. I flipped through moments of it. But I'm struck by the fact that I, I don't believe the sex acts. I don't find them convincing. I, it, even though someone was killed, I think he's performing the sociopath. I think he's performing the role of a psychopath because he wanted to be legendary in any way that, that he could be. I, wow. I, I, I don't think that he gets off on killing. I think he's getting off on playing the part of a killer. So, so he's a, I, appealing to the people that would get off on things like this by pro providing them with the... It's, it's a nut, exploitative pornography again, right? He doesn't have to be into it to do it, even though he did it. It's crazy. It's just really crazy. I think it's his sort of heightened version of a porn star. Yeah. But I, 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 I suspect, you know, and this is all my conjecture. Understood. From what I knew from someone 10 years ago and Understood. also from seeing the video. Absolutely. He looks so disconnected from the sexual acts on the video. I think he took a lot of drugs, dissociated himself from the experience so he could um, decapitate someone, so he could mutilate their body, and then so he could actually simulate having sex with them. 
but um, I actually don't think that it's. I don't. I don't think it's a real sex act. I think he's a copycat psychopath. 